The former summer palace of the late Empire dynasty of Yi Yuan is located in the northwestern outskirts of the Chinese capital of Peking. The palace is also known as the Garden of Harmonious Pleasures. This spacious area was to be the Qianlong Emperor's beautiful and at the same time extravagant present for his mother's 60th birthday in 1752. For both the park and the palace, the sovereign paid approximately 4.8 million tail in silver. This was an incredibly large sum of money. Added to this, the emperor ordered the enlargement of Kunming Lake. Construction work for this ambitious project lasted for more than 13 years. In 1764, the gift for Emperor Qianlong's mother was finally completed. The Yi Ye Yuan subsequently became the monarch's favorite garden. During the hot summer months, the Empress Court enjoyed the temperature climate of the famous garden that lay outside the city. Popular with all those who come here is the 728 meter long corridor that contains an array of wonderful paintings. The Chan Lang is situated along the northern bank of Kunming Lake. Animals, flowers, humans and stories from Chinese mythology are illustrated by more than 8,000 paintings. Rising high above this 290 hectare area is the Tower of Buddhist Virtue, a dominant feature of the surrounding landscape. However, a number of buildings have managed to survive the ravages of time. In 1860, the Opium Wars reached the summer palace of Yi Yuan. Western colonial troops devastated the Chinese garden and destroyed numerous buildings. The pavilion was reconstructed by the emperor's widow, Si Xi. After the death of her husband, Xi'an Feng, in 1861, the Empress took control of the empire and subsequently ordered the restoration of the buildings that were destroyed during the Opium Wars. The dominant Longevity Hill, known as Wan Shu Shan, is crowned by a 41-meter high pavilion, the Tower of Buddhist Virtue. The pavilion was built in 1750. From the high rooftops, there's a marvelous view across the park and the lake. Here, the Chinese emperors frequently prayed to their gods. 
Not surprising as the view is quite outstanding. Only a few steps further is another religious and very important building, the Sea of Wisdom Temple. It also dates back to the Qing dynasty. During the creation of this building, no reference was made to supporting beams and columns, a true architectural peculiarity. Instead, only bricks were used. At one time, the outer walls of the temple were entirely covered with shiny, colorful glazes. Some of the niches are still decorated with beautiful Buddha statues. However, between 1860 and 1900, Western invaders destroyed the majority of the sacred buildings and holy statues. Once more, the influential emperor widow Si Xi attempted to restore the summer palace of the Ye Ye Yuan to its original state. And once again, she was successful. For many years, a cruise on Kunming Lake has not been reserved solely for the former family of the emperor. Now it is frequented by tourists from around the world. Sixi, the sovereign of the Chinese court, repeatedly raised money for the restoration of the destroyed palace. The widow's favorite haunt was the marble boat. From there, she enjoyed the magnificent view across the lake. After Sixi's death in 1908, the summer palace was temporarily closed. However, soon afterwards, the public park opened its gates once again. In spite of past military destruction, the natural beauty of the elegant gardens of the Ye Ye Yuan Palace has been well preserved. And the majestic 150 meter long 17 arch bridge of the Qianlong Emperor still spans the waters of Kunming Lake.